Squaw! What's going on guys? We are back again for some more Tom Clancy's Wildlands. And now, we're going to try and set off this start of this place. Well, it's already started, so now all we got to do is hijack a cartel money truck, locate a personal computer, and interrogate the bank manager to the vault code. So we're gonna go and do this, and the nice thing is, which I found out, look at this, look at this, look at this. Beauty Queen's dirty little secrets. Oops, hold on. Boom, look at this, ready? I got a helicopter in like a few seconds. Boom. I don't even have to go and find a helicopter, I can just call one in. I didn't, I never thought to use all of these. I use gun for hire, cause you know I get a little bit extra firepower, I use spotting now. And now I'm using vehicle drop off and mortar every once in a while, depending on what I need. And now I can use diversion, but I haven't found like the right situation yet to be actually like use it. it. But the cool thing about the vehicle drop off, which I never knew, is you can get like an armored SUV and get like extreme amounts of firepower. And I'm pretty sure we can increase that level too. And I'm pretty sure we can get like even better stuff. But now I can just call a helicopter, fly around, and get from place to place without having to actually do anything. I can just call in a helicopter. That sounds amazing. Jeez, this is probably like, it's probably the coolest part. I found that out like not too long ago too. It was recent. I want to say it was after the last episode on Friday or something like that. I like, I started going around doing some stuff and then I eventually just went, I can call in one of these things. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun doing this game and like completing the map. The only issue that irritates me so much is there is a place in which, you know how like you have the side missions that it's like, oh, take this helicopter to the rebels and you'll be able to get uh, 5,000 food or something like that. Well, there's usually in each area of the whole map, there's like a sector and in each sector, there's about one each. There's one helicopter and one plane. Well, in the sector in the top left, which is the one I'm trying to clear out now. I got eyes on a big fucking house. Welcome to Shea Beauty Queen. You should drop in and say hello. Bowman says she's in Peru at the moment, business trip, but a little recon couldn't hurt. But in the sector that I was doing um, recently, off camera, it was absolutely insane. You would go into a Unidad area, which is not that big of a deal. It's just Unidad, you know, no big deal. You'll be able to beat them. Take out all the people silently. They won't suspect a thing. Go grab the heli or the um, plane and, and fly it out. The only issue is that when you try to fly that plane out of there, they have missiles that take down any aircrafts. So when you try to fly the plane out, they shoot a missile and blow up the plane before you can leave. It's probably one of the most annoying things I've ever done. I could not beat it for the life of me, and I had so much trouble. It was irritating me absolutely so much. But look at this. So I'm gonna put spotting there, and boom. It just starts. It just starts showing me all these people, and I think that's everyone. First, we're gonna take out this guy because no one knows him. No one knows he's there. He's done. No one will suspect a thing. Next, I'm gonna try and take out some more. I want to try and do it silently because, I mean, what's the point? Back it up, back it up. Look at that. We'll take these guys out with the quick sync. Target acquired. Target marked. Weapons free. Weapons free. Can go down. Now, higher guns and fire. Because if you can tell, I've basically taken everybody out. No more issues here.
This guy can't even see me. And he's the only one left. Got it. Moving. No. No. I was about to say, there's no way they signaled for people. We're good. We all in one piece? I have no idea where they're even... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like they're but the other th interesting thing is, I got this... I, I don't know if I should say new gun, but I got an AUG A3. Look at the damage on this thing. It's almost maxed out completely. And for some reason, it doesn't show that I have the grenade launcher. I don't know why. But this thing is so much damage. It's absurd. Has the most damage out of almost everything that I have. Never mind. But it does have a lot of damage. I mean, that's got a decent amount of damage. It's more than what I've had before. Obviously, it's not the most because I do like my other things. But it's got a good amount of damage. And this thing also, with the skill, if I go to physical, I think, or is it weapon? Weapon, I have VHC. So I do more damage to vehicles. Meaning, that helicopter, I can take them down quite quickly, actually. But my thing is, who's sounding the alarm that we're here? Who even thinks we're here? I just took everyone out, not completely silently, but I took everyone out. So I have no idea what they're sounding the alarm for. I don't know. But I know I have to find this computer, which isn't going to be like a walk in the park. It's going to be I have to like walk around and do some things. Stay there. We'll hold this position. I'm guessing upstairs, maybe. I don't like this helicopter flying around. Here's your office. I was about to say it was like this has got to be the room. We'll hack this hell, uh, this computer. Transferred about fifty million. And there we go. Transferred about. That's a lot of money. All right, what's next? Uh, we can interrogate a bank manager, or we can take down a truck. I say we take down a truck. But this, I want to show you guys the next thing, which was, so you know, I said that I got the helicopter, I can call in helicopters and such things. Well, I can also call in other things, like trucks. Uh, yeah, I get the whole pickup truck, but here, I can get an armored vehicle. vehicle. Look at this thing. It's not fast by any means. But look at this thing. And someone takes the gunship up top. And it's a minigun. Like, that damage from a minigun is a lot. And the amount of damage I can take just by driving this thing is also a lot. This thing's probably one of the best... One of the best vehicles there is. The only issue is, it's slow, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, it's slow, oh well. But, uh, there was something else I was gonna say about it. Looks like they're filming for can't entirely remember. There was something else. I guess Santa Blanca owes this too now. They've got their hands in every Bolivian industry. But here we go. We're on the mission to take out this truck. I'm still stuck on this. I don't know. I'm thinking of another vehicle that it's it's slightly better, possibly. It's like a tank almost. I'm thinking it's an APV or something like that. Um, but the interesting thing is, instead of having a minigun, it's a person gets inside the top. So now it's like you're in a containment area, so you're not exposed. And he has like a missile launcher instead of like a minigun. It's an awesome vehicle. But I don't have that one. I only get this one. But I'm assuming I get a helicopter, I get a pickup truck, and I get an armored SUV. If I can upgrade this rebel support in any way, what else could they give me? What, are you going to give me a car? That's downgrading. I can get a pickup truck. They, I guess they could give me a plane, but I can't really just get a plane. I'm going to need some sort of a runway to be able to take off. So, would a plane be actually useful? Not really. And plus, I have something else that flies. I can I can get a helicopter. Silver mine over there. Santa Blanca took them all over in this area. Higher so, I don't know. The digging for them. As far as the miner is concerned, what's the difference between the two? One boss is as bad as another when you're trapped a mile underground. I'm trying to think because I'm guessing they can give me a tank 
like the actual tank tank, like the huge thing that can not be destroyed, or they can probably give me a better helicopter. But I don't care about you guys. I want to take out this convoy. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Charge up the minigun. Boom. Look at that. I literally, I'll, all I had to do was run my SUV into his car and he's done. And now look at this. Ready? Swerve. Boom. Done. Oh no. Please don't say they're going to blow it up. Oh, it's just a grenade. Remain undetected. I gotta take it to his hideout. Stop the assault. What are you doing? I'm not trying to get into a fight with the unit dad. This truck is already suspicious. I have a smoking truck. Something. You're kidding. It was not destroyed. Oh. That annoys me. That annoyed me because it hasn't happened before. I can't just say it annoys me. But it does annoy me right now. Man, I had the truck and everything. But I just had to keep getting shot at by the cartel. Which, obviously, they're not going to make it easy. Once I get in, they go away. So we're going to call for another armored vehicle. And then we're going to do it again. Buckle up, people. All right. Let's try and take it out one more time. Oh my gosh, it's just as far as it was before. It's going to take another couple minutes just to get there. Jeez, but I'm trying to look on the map. I guess they could give me a motorcycle because I'm looking on the map now and as you can tell the different vehicles have different shapes. So my armored SUV kind of looks like a pickup truck with a gun on top. You have the motorcycles, the helicopters, the planes, all cars have the same shape. So I'm guessing they're not going to give me another car because the pickup truck has the exact same shape um, silhouette on the map. And I don't think they're going to give me another car because like I said, pickup trucks are quite quick. They're basically the same thing as the cars. Except they can hold all the people instead of getting a car that's possibly two-door. No. I don't want another side mission at the same time. Ready? Open fire. I can't gauge. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way they're stopping me. Yeah, as long as they get out their vehicle, all I gotta do is focus on this truck. Perfect. Now let's get in the truck. It's not as bad as it was before, but it's still pretty bad. Drop the truck off there. What the hell kind of account? And now let's just go through. Kind of invest in all sorts of businesses to help launder his boss's money. All right, this truck's pretty quick. Now we'll just make this turn here. Alright, it's not too, too far. And I have to remain undetected, so let's hope nothing happens. Because that would be the worst. This mission isn't even that long, it's just a few minutes. I was hoping to get all three done, but it might not happen. We're going to see, though. We're definitely going to see.
here's the hideout. All you gotta do is go inside. Here's the garage. And now leave the hideout without being detected. That's a little bit more difficult. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Two? It's not gonna show me everyone. It's gonna show me two people. Deploying drone. Tango number three. I got another. That's five. I just spotted one with some machine guns. There we go. That's everyone. One, two. Roger that. Target moving target. to a better position. Three. Ready to fire. Fuck. Engage him. He's down. That's the alarms. Reinforcements won't be flying in. Perfect. Actually. So now, hop in here. And these, these are definitely quick. These things, oh my gosh, they're fast. Well, that's it. Now Bowman can leak the location of Nidia's people. And Nidia will start gunning for Pulpo. I got none of that. Also can't hear them. I still don't know, understand. I don't understand why that happens. I think it's something I have to do with my headphones. Maybe the computer. I'm going to have to figure that out another time. But I went, stole a truck from the cartel to bring it to the cartel. That doesn't seem important or to, to do anything. I don't understand it. But yeah, this one, what I'm talking about is this right here. It, it's impossible. I'm just going to let you know. It's impossible. Just downright impossible. I tried doing it and it took me hours. Still didn't even complete it properly. But it took me hours of doing it to even try. Uh, I still failed. Give you a little insight as to what I did. So I sat there in throughout the whole compound took out all unidad soldiers silently at that because if you don't do it silently unidad soldiers will put a patrol on you and then try and take you out later on very bad so take out every person in an, in an entire compound i'm talking it's a base like it's legit a base and you take everyone out now you've taken everyone out Here's the other issue. You have missiles. Missiles that detect aircrafts. Those aircrafts are detected. You're sitting there. Boom. You get shot right out of the sky. Yes, it's possible to dodge them, but it's also very difficult to dodge them. Now, here's the next part. You do all this. Then you try it again. You go, okay, I'll take out the missiles. So you go and you take out the missiles. You take out the soldiers. Everything's done. You go to do it again. The missiles are far enough away from your person that they respawn, come back intact with themselves, and then you get to fly it out. But you can't really fly it out because now you have missiles trying to fire at you. And because the missiles are trying to fire at you, you have to maneuver, and this was my last try, maneuver in such a way where your wing hits a mountain and you fail again. And now you're back at 
in ground zero. It was so annoying me trying to do that. I gave up and I was doing it until like I was just trying to complete the map. That was it. We can get in there and hack their message logs. We might get an ID on the cartel senior instructor. All I wanted to do is complete the complete the map. I just wanted to complete the area, finish everything I need to finish, hit a pole that's apparently indestructible just now. But I like to go through, collect everything, get all the side missions done. Yes, there are the truck side missions, but you don't really have to do those. So, because I didn't have to get those done, I decided, you know, I'll, I'll let it go interest. for right now. I got eyes and a mounted weapon. So what I did was, I went, did what I needed to do, and then, like I said, that side mission was the last thing left. I didn't need to do anything else. It was all taken care of. I just had to go through, get the plane, leave, maybe do one, two things left. But nope. It doesn't want me to do it. It doesn't like me doing it. It's probably get... Yeah, this will probably take care of seeing the whole map. That makes five. There we go. Now I have no idea who's over here. Enemy activity, stay sharp. It says he's in like this direction, so we're gonna take out this this guy. There we go. Five. Now he says there's someone over here. But it's jammed. Of course it's jammed. And also the other thing is the jammers, they look exactly like the missile launchers, except a slight difference. So now you're sitting there blowing everything up. Jammers and missile launchers. Just because you don't know which one's which, just because you were trying to take everything out. <sighs> that side mission was it was it was annoying. I'm literally just going through and shooting them all down. Here we go. I'm just gonna just keep taking them out. But I'll show you guys because there's probably a jammer around here since I wasn't able to use my drone. I'm seeing a cartel lieutenant. The parking area, see? Let's do this real quick. We'll do spotting again since I can almost get it. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Yeah, that gets about everybody. It's oh my gosh, it's a lot of people. Still tagging people. Yeah, it's jammed. There's no way I'm gonna be able to use it. Got eyes and a mounted weapon. Oh, it was a good thing because I didn't think I was gonna actually make that shot. Up, we got a turret. Hold up, they're gonna spot you. There's a lot of people down there. Let's see if I can do this without getting seen. Getting seen is the hardest part because it makes it just so much more difficult. I took out the mini guns up top, on the bottom, basically everywhere. I want to try and take out everyone outside. But that's troubling because I don't know exactly who's outside. I think it's just these two. Him and him.
We're good. We're good. There we go. Not too too bad. Now I gotta try and figure out if there's anybody over here. I don't think they'll be of significance, but it doesn't hurt to check every once in a while. Banks in sight. Look at us taking down banks like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A lot of people in there. One, two, three, four on the top level. Four mid, four bottom. Maybe is that how that works? I was about to say, I think I need to see them a little bit better. Is he looking out this way? No. Moving to position, find Copy position. That. Moving. Maybe I can Roger. just do this. Lost visual on the target. But they're inside, so it's not like they have a real clear shot. I'm just going to walk that way. First, we'll take these guys out, because these guys are the problem. Not really, but like, if I get seen, or caught, or something, imagine, that's just more people to come and get me. There we go. See? Two people. That would have been a lot worse if they, see, if they saw me. We're going to try and go around the back, because it looks like there's people outside in the back. Arm is disabled. I gotta spot you. Back up. Heads up, we got a turret. Shit, I can't fuck it off. Roger that. Move it. Let me get into position. Eyes on the target. Roger that. Target marked. I don't have a shot. Firing. Their ult is escaping. I asked the rebel call Pacatori for some reinforcements. I didn't mean to ask for a vehicle, but it won't hurt. Rebels to do a recon of the area. Grenade, move, move, move. Dang it. Shit, we got one. I have no idea where this alarm is going for, or where it is. I don't know anything. Roger. Let me get in position. Moving to a good sideline. Moving to a better position. So we can come down here. Chopper, down, down. We're gonna grab him and do the mission. Mitty has been nothing but a thorn in your side and a gun to your head. Give us the access codes to her vault, and Pulpo will make sure she goes away. Pulpo? Chingo. Okay, está bien. The codes are yours. Está bien, me rindo. Copter, get down. There we go. This is Nomad. We've got the access codes. You got rebel forces ready? Oh, now we have to open the vault door. Oh, boy. Wait for a signal. Nomad out. I got it. Moving to position. I don't 
want to attack the unit that. Oh, they already have a patrol. Dang it. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Here we go. Wounded dead's firing on the cartel. Fire. We'll go. I didn't know this was a vault door. Looks like these Unidad guys want to spin some lead. Civilian down! Civilian down! Shit balls. Get the hell out of there! Open fire. Roger. I don't think killing a civilian is my main priority because I'm also dying. for some mortar fire. Copy. Fire for effect out. Get ready. Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. But we also have another two minutes. Oh my gosh. This would have been a lot easier if they just didn't fire at me. Cartel Sicarios are joining the fight. So far it's kinda working. Can I get any more guns for hire? No, I can't. It's unavailable. I'm guessing because they're all back here at least. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's actually going to help. Oh, I can go up top. Possibly go up top and use those turrets. Where am I going? Where are their, where are their stairs? None? At all? What the heck? How am I supposed to do it? I don't know. Fire. We have another minute and 15 seconds. I don't know if I'm going to be able to last this whole thing. This episode is getting quite long. Can I get an armored vehicle? I'm gonna try and get up there. Is there any way on the outside to be able to climb up there? Perfect. Fire. Use. Use. There we go. There we go. Come on, perfect. Our 
little false flag operation has convinced and we did it too almost robbing her blind and she's pissed off she's coming after him guns blazing lucky for Polpo his buddy Wagner, I can't reach it helpful and gave us Polpo's cell phone number what are you tracking him we think he knows maybe is after him he's prepping to leave for Mexico right now your team needs to help him get to the airport so he can talk shit about Nidia to Sueño himself. Copy that. Alright, now all we gotta do is find him and reach his hideout without being detected, which is here. Which is what we'll do in the next episode. Today has been full of me taking stuff out. And hopefully, I'll be able to finish up this sector right here, Media Luna. If I can't, I'm going to start with another one, which might be... I might just go for this one right here because it's already visible. And then I'm just going to make my way. I'm going to just try and take out the whole map. Hopefully, I'll be able to pretty easily. I don't know. But if you guys like today's episode, hit the like down below. If you want to keep seeing this content, I put it up every Monday through Friday. Um, what do you want to do? You want to subscribe. That's what you want to do. So then subscribe down below or wherever the subscribe button is. So that way you guys can see this amazing content brought to you by this amazing person. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.